Hi, welcome back to my channel. We're gonna craft. <laughs> I wanted to make some Easter garland and I found this cute one. I'll pop a picture up and I think I have everything I need to make it. I'm a huge crafter so I have a, a ton of supplies from like lots of different craft projects that I have done or started and not finished. But anyways, I thought I would walk you through how I'm gonna do it. So one thing I'm gonna do, I have a ton of felt here. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it out on my Cricut. My son is napping, so I'm hoping to get that done before he wakes up. Before I start, I already did it, but I'll show you. I found this picture. So I screen grabbed it. I popped it into Adobe Fresco, and then I just traced over it so you can see you have like this silhouette. So I did that for each piece. I did that for the bunny, the carrot, and the little green pieces that are on the carrot. And then I exported them individually as PNG files. And then I imported them into the Cricut app so I can cut them all out. And I did them separately so that I could have them each be their own individual color so that I could cut them out in groups and it would be a lot quicker, hopefully. So I think my plan is to make four bunnies and five carrots. And I need to cut those out as a lot of pieces. So let's get started. <laughs> um, what do I wanna do? I'm gonna use all of this. I also have all this felt. Like I said, I have a lot of craft supplies and I can't get rid of anything because just in the crafting world, I can't get rid of anything else except for if I think I can repurpose it for a craft, I can't get rid of it. I can't decide. I've got these two greens for the carrot and then this is the carrot and then I'm gonna do a gray bunny and I'm not sure what I'm gonna do for the fluff ball that's my cat uh I think I have some white pom-pom little pom-pom balls but I think they have glitter in them or like shiny stuff so I'm not sure what I'm gonna use for that first that's a future problem if I have enough gray I think I do we'll find out my son is supposed to be napping but I can hear him. And it's this is our craft room right now. We just moved in here, so it is a mess. We've only been in here for about a month, which is like not a lot of time in the grand scheme of moving. Let me check on him. So the first thing I'm gonna do is cut this. This is like a really random leftover sheet. I'm gonna use this standard grip 12 by 24 sheet. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this into 12 inches. And then what I usually do is go into the Cricut app and based on where the fabric is on the sheet, I'll move the pieces around so that it obviously will cut on fabric. Cause sometimes you just end up with really random shapes. I know this is not like a perfect overhead view, but it'll work for a lot more. All right, let's see what we can configure with that. So this is the blade you want for cutting fabric and felt. It does a really good job. Okay, it looks like we're gonna fit four on here. So let's run it through and see. All right, I found an outlet that works. I'm gonna do felt fabric acrylic. Sorry, I'm eating a smoothie. And I'm gonna do more pressure. There's my bunnies. My helper is awake. <laughs> so, got two more 
more bunnies. How satisfying that is. Um, and then I'm gonna try to organize my. <laughs> this is the craft room. It is. Here we go. It is a mess. And that's a bunch of Poshmark stuff. So I'm gonna organize that and cut some more stuff. Okay, maybe I laid it out with my cut bunnies to see if I can cut them on this piece. So, it's a few hours later, several hours later, I'm going to assemble, I have all my carrots, all my green, and my bunnies. I think I made too many bunnies. And I think I'm going to use this, like, Sherpa for the bunny tails, and then I'm just going to assemble them. I think I'm going to put the bunny tails on first, and then I will assemble them and sew them together. And I'm planning on using, I have this orange. For the carrots. I don't think I have a gray, so I'm not really sure what I'm gonna use for the bunnies. Maybe white, but we'll see. My baby is crying. Will you bring me the baby? Oh, I'm crying, baby. Wow. You wanna see my bunnies? Look, these are gonna be your bunnies. So I have one bunny done. You can see his little, his little bunny tail. And I thought I'd show you how I made it. It's very easy. So I just cut, it's about two inch by two inch circle out of this fuzzy fabric. And then I'm gonna stitch all the way around and pull it tight and I'll show you. So I'll just, Stitch it all the way around. And you can see it's already starting to get pull into a little ball. So you just pull it tight. And then I'm gonna put just a little bit of fluff in it. Pull it all the way tight and then I'm just going to stitch the edges so go to the other side and then kind of do like a little star pattern it's like making a little cotton ball see you can see this the stitch side and this is the front rubber bunny and then we're just going to stitch it on his little bottom and what I do, I'm gonna stitch through to the back side, stitch back, and when I stitch back, I'm gonna stitch through part of the cotton ball. 
and just give it more stability so it's not just one little thread that it's hanging on. And you stitch through and pick up some of the cotton ball and then back through. And I just do that three or four times. Once you've got it on, you just do your knot and we're done with his little bunny tail. Now that he's done, I'm gonna sew two together. This is what the stitching looks like. Just a very casual stitch. So I'm gonna do that. I might do a time lapse of it, but I'm just watching TV while I do it because my son is napping. But I think they're turned out cute so far. That bouncy baby. So I'm assembling the carrots now. I just took two of the orange little carrot pieces and then three of these little little green leaves and I just fanned them. Oh, that's four. So I just did like two and then put one on top because I think they, I like them better like this with the one in the front. With the one, don't know where to look, with one in the front. And then I just, as I'm stitching it around, I'll just stitch them into the top like that. And get that. And in your the little carrot. And fill with more cotton. So I finished sewing together all of the bunnies and the carrots, and now I'm gonna put them all on a string. I'm just using this nylon string. It's what I have, so that's why I'm using it. And it works, it holds up pretty good. And then I'm going to use this yarn needle to thread it through the pieces. So I take about probably like six feet, so maybe longer do about two, two of these, two of these. <laughs> Cause you can always cut off the extra if you don't use it. I'm gonna thread that through there. And then my plan is to do carrot, bunny, carrot. I think I have four bunnies and five carrots. And then make sure that you know which way they're facing front. I think I'm gonna lay them out because some look better than others and I want the best ones to be in the middle. <laughs> Let's see. Bunnies. Let's see. This one's pretty good. That one's a good one. All right, we'll do that. Here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and loop this side. So I hang it, I'm gonna hang mine on our TV stand. Um, and there's drawers with knobs that I'm gonna put it on. So I just like to do like a pretty big loop and just knot it. So, and then I'll cut that off in a minute. We have a nice, a nice loop. And then now I'm going to just go in between the seam, one side. So I'm going like 
probably an inch, a little less than an inch down and just pull it all the way through. That's one carrot. I think for the bunnies, I'm gonna go like right here. So in the seam and right below the ear and pull them through. This is what we have so far. <laughs> so I'm gonna finish doing that. to figure out how long I need them to be and then I'm going to space them out. I'll show you how cute they look and I'll take some pictures. You're interested, Bear's interested in these. <laughs> Yeah, that's super cute. I hope you enjoyed this craft video. Uh, let me know what I should make a garland of next. I think like, he's so interested he wants them. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up. Um, let me know if you try to make it or if you use any of these tips. And we will see you next time.